Attention drivers, please have your pickup number, carrier name, broker information available when you call. Thank you in advance. Let's make this phone call. Let's make this phone call real quick. Let's see this number. 804-536-3195. Let's make this phone call. Pickup number, carrier, yes ma'am, uh, I'm a driver out here, I'm at the stop sign now, coming to pick a load up, truck number is 1705. One two two three zero six dash one two one six four seven. Yes, ma'am. PNS. Uh, Dion. D E O N. Melvin. M E L V I N. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what I like park in the middle of, of the two buildings. Okay. Th okay. Thank you. Woo. So pull up and look for a yellow and red box on the pavement. Let's see if I can find this yellow and red box on the pavement. Hey man, how y'all doing with this coronavirus going around, man? Freaks kind of, I, I, I don't know, I ain't gonna say if it's slow or not, but uh, my DM told me today that they shut Pennsylvania down, and so I had to, I actually ended up waiting almost two hours for a load, but hell, I was going home, I was going to the house, they happened to, I was like, look, I'm gonna start heading south on 95, but uh, you give me a call, you got something in the area. I got a guy coming out here. Damn, they got masks on. The lady told me to pull up to the slot. Let me see what this guy talk about. You for me? You coming for me? Oh, okay. I gotta go to the car and get some. Alright. <laughs> hey, all I'm saying, all. I thought he was coming for me. He ain't coming for me. I gotta come up here. But the guy, the guy's on the damn forklift. Yeah, he better get his, get his hind tail out of the way. Hey, did y'all happen to catch Monday Night Raw the other day? They had, they didn't have nobody in the, in the arena. And it was a uh, stone cold day. 316. 316 day. Man, that was so funny watching that, man. I didn't get to watch it because I, what was I at Monday? Monday I was in, um, I was still in Louisiana. But I talked to my buddy the next day and he was telling me about it. He was like, yeah, they had an empty arena on wrestling last night. I said, man. I said, yeah, I didn't see that. Y'all see that phone flying all over the place. That's what I'm picking up. Look at that. That's what I'm picking up. I ain't gonna run over it. See if he gonna get it. Hey, oh well, oh well. Damn foam stuff. Yeah, the lady told me to park in between the yellow and the red box. So here it is, right here. Hey, I ain't holding this stuff in a while. 
park right here and pull inside the building. Well, come inside the building. So I guess this is what we're gonna do now. See that shit. That little ass piece of piece of foam. That's what it is. Some foam insulation. Y'all can't see it. But look, man. Yeah, I'm about to hit the road, man. I'm taking it to the house. Y'all got another short video for me. But you know, I ain't been doing shit. I'm about to stop by the blue beacon. Maybe I'll talk a little bit while I'm sitting in there. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. promised I told y'all when I got to the blue beacon I was gonna talk a little bit here we go tell you the truth I really don't got nothing to talk about really don't man hey I got stumped by this load I just picked up I got to that place I think it was called metal span I think that was the name of yeah, Metal Span, Prince George, Virginia. I'm thinking, like the truck in front of me, he got like a big trailer, like a big trailer full of insulation. So I'm thinking like, I'm about to get the same thing. And then like, you gotta get out of your truck. You gotta sit in this little uh, restricted area. Like when I went into the office, I went into the office, I checked in. Well, you know, I made the phone call first. The lady told me to pull up. Excuse me, the lady told me to pull Hey, I ain't got coronavirus. I just I just coughed, burped a little bit. Hey, the lady told me to uh, come inside the building. So I went inside the building, checked in. I left my truck running, cause it's hot as hell outside. It's 89 right now. So I went inside the building, checked in. Lady was like, go back, cut your truck off. I'm like, damn. I'm like, I'm like, damn, I got to cut my truck off. <laughs> so went back, cut my truck off, came back in there, the sign, signed a little thing they got. They got hand sanitizer sitting up there. They're behind the glass. I had to put the hand sanitizer on, sign a little thing, ask you if you got any corona symptoms. And you know what? A lot of places, like all this week, a lot of places been asking you about about if you got symptoms, if you traveled to Middle East or anywhere. So anyway, checked in. Lady told me to go sit up, sit outside in the little patio. So the truck in front of me, they was finishing him up. And then uh, when you check in, they give you two pieces of paper. They give you one for the fourth little driver, and then they give you one for the, um, what they call them, the loader, not the loader, the loader and the security. You gotta get one to the secure guy when you pull around to the other side. So uh, I'm sitting there chilling outside, minding my own business. I'm thinking it's gonna be a while. Cause the other dude, I've been sitting there like 20 minutes for them to finish him. So they put a piece on my truck. The guy came out the office, called me over to my truck. I, I, I thought he was gonna tell me to pull my truck up cause the other truck pulled up. So the guy came over there Gave me the, he gave me a little box. Matter of fact, I'll show it to you. This is part of the load right here. This part of the load. He was like, yeah, put this inside your truck unless you want to throw a strap over it. I could have threw a strap over it. Edge protector here and one there. I could have I could have put a strap on it, but I said I put it inside the truck. Hey, I could have talked it. <laughs> hey, yes, a dude gave me the little box. I'm like, then he gave him my bills. And he, no, he told me to come back in the office. I'm gonna give you your bills. I'm like, all right. So I came back in, he gave me my bills. So um, 
I'm thinking, you know, he just giving it to me early. I'm about to go sit back outside and wait for them to finish the rest of the load. So when I, I went, I asked him if I could use the bathroom. He was like, yeah, go ahead. I went to the bathroom. I looked at the bills. Same bills I got right here. I looked at it. It says quantity and bundle. It says two. I got one piece on the back. I got the, I got the little box. And the weight says 304 pounds. So I was like, I was like, I know this ain't it. So I asked the guy. I was like, when I came back out the bathroom, I was like, that's all I'm getting these that little box and that other piece up there. He was like, yeah, man. That's why I told you you ain't need to move the tarps. Cause when I first checked in, I asked him, I was like, I was like, are those tarps in the way? And he was like, nah, tarps are fine. He was like, okay, I see why. So then I had to go back to the other side, get a guy the little, the other papers so he could secure it. As you saw on the time lapse, guy secured it. Hey, I was on my way. I was kind of, and then, hey, what time is it right now? 3.31, I dropped off my first load this morning in Charlottesville, Virginia. I had some lumber from Georgia Pacific. I dropped it off this morning. I got empty, I, I got empty probably like around 8.30. My DM offered me a load, picking up at Red Oak, Virginia, that was going to Savannah, Georgia. So, uh, it only paid six, it was, it was like 400 miles, paid $600. I was like, hell no, I ain't taking that. And I would have had to leave Sunday from my house to get to Savannah because also Monday, I got to pick up some pipes out of Columbia that's going to New York. So the only way for me to save enough time on my clock to get a head start on leaving Columbia Monday, coming from Savannah would be to leave my house Sunday, go all the way to Savannah, take my 10 hour break down there. I'm like, I'm not leaving the house Sunday. I just, and I just left the house last Sunday. I got home. Then the week before that, I didn't get home till Saturday. So I've been doing like 34 hours at the house. Like people keep asking me about the freight. Like, have, am I still been running? Hey, like the past, the past three Saturdays, like I've got, I've been home like 35 hours, 36 hours, like 34 hour reset back on the road. So I'm like, if I, if I leave the house, it gotta be some high paying shit. Like the load I took to Louisiana last week, it paid 1700. So I left my house like uh, seven o'clock Sunday morning. Drove all day, got down past Birmingham. I got probably about a hundred miles outside of Birmingham. Woke up the next morning. I had like four more hours before I got to Louisiana. I can't remember what city, Monroe, Louisiana. Hey, tell y'all something else. Man, check this out. Louisiana. Louisiana uniform traffic ticket and complaint. I got a damn ticket in Louisiana. 60 and a 50. Got a damn ticket. Now I got a damn, been waiting on TVC Pro Driver to call me, but they ain't call me. I'm gonna have to call them because they got to send you that power of attorney. If you, if you ever had to deal with TVC, like they gotta send you a, a power of attorney and you gotta fill it out and take a picture of it. You gotta sign it, send it back to them so they can handle your case. So I've been waiting on them to call, they ain't called yet. But I'm gonna go ahead and call them this weekend so I can go ahead and get it printed while I'm at home. Yeah, man, I got a ticket, man. 60 and a 50. Damn, a regular city police, little county, whatever it was. I was on US, US 60. No, it might have been Louisiana 60. Country road, man. Like, nothing out there but damn farmlands and nothing. Nothing out there. And guy, he got he got me. Came through. But uh, he was, like, in the area where it's, like, as soon as the speed limit changes to the next speed limit, he was, like, sitting right there. Like, hell, I, I, I came up. I, I was on my jet brake, and, and I was on the brake. Passing by, and he still got me. And I told, I said, "Look, man, I was slowing down when I when I came up on you." He was like, "Nah, I gotta give you a tick." I like, damn. I like, whatever, man. You know how it is, man. So anyway, scratch that. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, leaving the house on Sunday. Yeah, I ain't got to leave this Sunday. 
It's 3.30 right now. I could have been home right now, but I had to stop getting my truck washed. Because I've been waiting like like past two weeks. I've been trying to get it done, but just ain't had time. So we're going to get it done today. I got They got one truck in the bay, and they got one truck in front of me right here. Maybe another 20, 30 minutes. Hey, we need to tighten up. I hate, I hate to put my boots on. Yeah, man, sir. Oh, yeah, but I know what I was talking about. Yeah, this morning when I got empty at 8.30, my DM was like, they shut down Pennsylvania. So, uh, kind of kind of sucked up all the freight for other drivers. So, I, I had that one load that was going to Savannah, but I turned it down. I'm going to run in that shit for $600. And, um, cause that would have been like, man, that would have been like a 600 mile deadhead, like a round trip. Cause I would have had to deadhead at 100 miles to get it, then 400 miles to get to Savannah, then deadhead at 150 miles back to, um, back to Columbia. But that would have been like 600 mile deadhead for $600. And I only get 70% of the 600. So that was that like 480, 470, something like that. That would have been like, 70 cents a mile or something. Nah, your boy ain't got time for that. I ain't got time for that. And now I got this load I got now. This load pays $850, $850 on 250 miles, and it's only 300 pounds. I don't even know what the fuel surcharge is. Probably something cheap. Probably about, oh, $61. That ain't bad. I told my DM, I said, hey, you can keep that load. I said, I'm going to start heading south. I was in Charlottesville. You got to get on 64 East to head back to Richmond, get on 95. I told my DM, I said, look, I'm about to head south. If you come up with something while I'm on 95, just give me a call. I'll check it out. That's what she did. I got on 95. I, I was going to the terminal. I was going to go to the terminal. Not, not to kick no ass, but I was just going to go to the terminal and get some free lunch. Because uh, it was probably like 1130 when I was coming through Prince George. And so I was probably like 40, 40 miles from the terminal in Emporia. And um, so I was going to get some free lunch, fried to get the free lunch. So um, she called me. She was like, hey, I got a load for you. It's said Prince George. I was like, I was like, where is it at? I'm like, I'm in Prince George right now. And she was like, well, they wanted, wanted to know if you want to take it first before they gave you all the details of it. I was like, yeah, I'll take it. I'm in Prince George. I'm like, I'm, I'll take it. They got a Sunoco gas station. It's uh, in Prince George. It's actually called a Mapco, but they got Sunoco fuel there, so I call it Sunoco. So um, I pulled over, pulled over there, went in there, grabbed me two Gatorades. Two get, I grabbed two of them. I drank some coffee this morning, but it's hot as hell outside. Grabbed me two Gatorades. Waited for the load information to come through. By the time I came out the store from getting the Gatorade, the load, uh, load information came through. Hell, I went and got it. Woo! Now here I am. About to get the damn truck washed. Josh Smith. Follow me on Snapchat. I didn't save your number the other day when I talked to you, man. So if you're watching this video, send me your number back again so I can call you back. I can't, yeah, I can't remember. Call me back, bro. I meant to save your number, but I forgot. I forgot to save it. Here we go, gang. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, man, make sure y'all wash your hands, man. Wash your hands. Use some hand sanitizer. You see anybody coughing around you? Hey, man, get the hell away from them. Do something. Hey, cause you don't want to uh, take that coronavirus to the house with you and affect your, your friends and your family and your kids and everybody. Maybe next week. Maybe maybe next week, man. I'm going to New York Monday. Y'all done seen the New York load too many times. I don't know, man. Who knows how it's going to go next week. But I'm out, gang. Once again. I'm out. <laughs> hey. Man, hey, man. Hey. Hey, if you ain't joined that Flatbed Gang group on uh, Facebook, 
Hey, you need to join it, man, because there's a lot of other drivers in there. Always posting pictures, posting all this, all these uh, truck stops not serving food no more. And tell you where people got temporary uh, truck parking. If you ain't got nowhere to park, you got a lot of people out there sharing information. So yeah, man, y'all come on up there and join the Flatbed Gang group on Facebook. Make sure you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. Hey. And most of y'all know, I do reply to almost every comment. Almost every comment, I, I reply back. Uh, if you hit me up on Facebook, I talk, I, hey. Yeah, hey, hey, vouch for me, man. Hey, if you ever sent me a personal message and I responded back to you, hey, drop me a 100 in the comments. If, if you feel like you know me personally, drop me a 100 in the comments. I know a lot of y'all, man. A lot of y'all that watch me, I know you. Hey, a lot of y'all talk to me. I might, I might, I might forget names sometimes, but I talk to a lot of y'all to hit me up, man. So, all right, man. Flatbed game, man. We out. David, wake up.